In this video, I'm going to show you how to add your Twitter feed to your Divi website in beautiful and responsive feeds like this. To do this, we'll be using the Smash Balloon Twitter Feed Pro plugin. The plugin allows us to create fast and responsive Twitter feeds for your WordPress website in just a matter of minutes without using any coding. To purchase and download the plugin, head over to smashballoon.com. And once purchased, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin inside your Smash Balloon account. Download Twitter Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Next, inside your dashboard, hover over plugins on the left hand side and click on Add New. Then click on Upload Plugin at the top and upload the zip file for Twitter Feed Pro like this. There we go and click Install Now. Once installed, click on Activate Plugin. And just like that, we have the Twitter Feed Pro plugin installed and activated. But before we can start creating our first Twitter feed for Divi, let's go and activate the license key for the plugin. On the left hand side, you might notice we have a menu called Twitter Feed. Hover over it and click on Settings. Here, beside License Key, we can paste the License Key we got from our Smash Balloon account. Just like this, and click on Activate. And there we go, our License Key has now been activated, and we can begin creating our first Twitter feed. On the left-hand side, once again, under Twitter Feed, click on All Feeds. To get started with our first Twitter feed, go and click on Add New at the top. With Twitter Feed Pro, you can create three different types of Twitter feeds. A feed of tweets from any user timeline, a feed of tweets from any hashtag, and a feed of tweets that match any specific search term. For this video, let's go with the hashtag feed, so we can select it like this. And with Twitter Feed Pro, you can even display multiple types of feeds in one single feed. But for this video, let's go and deselect the user timeline so we only have the hashtag feed selected. And now we can go and click on Next. And for this tip, we'll have to enter the hashtag we want to display on our Twitter feed. For this example, let's go with hashtag GoPro, just like this, and click on Next. Lastly, we'll have to select from one of these professionally designed templates for the appearance of our Twitter feed. We have options like the default, masonry cards, simple carousel, simple cards, and more below as well. For this video, let's go ahead with the masonry cards layout so you can select it like this and click next. And just like that, we have a beautiful preview of our new Twitter feed. And in this feed, we have all the latest posts from hashtag GoPro displayed inside. We can now go and embed this inside our Divi web page. But before we do that, let me show you how we can customize this. On the left hand side, under the customize tab, click on feed layout. Inside, you'll find several different options for the layout of your Twitter feed. Under layout, you can see that we currently have the masonry layout selected which displays all of your tweets in rows and columns like this. Above that, you could go with the list layout, which displays your tweets in a single column list. And lastly, we also have the carousel layout, which displays your tweets in a swipeable carousel like this. For this video, let's proceed with the masonry layout. And below that, you can also specify how many columns you want to display inside your Twitter feed. Currently, it's set to three, but if you want to change this, all you have to do is open it up and select the number of columns you want to display, just like this. And straight away, you can see the change reflected inside the live preview on the right hand side. But for this example, let's proceed with three. So I'm going to change that back. You can also modify the number of columns you want for desktop, tablet, and mobile individually as well. And below that, you can specify the exact number of tweets you want to display inside the feed. To change this, all you have to do is select it like this and enter the number of tweets you want to display. And once you're happy with the layout of your Twitter feed, go and click on save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the colors on your Twitter feed, go into color scheme under the customize tab. Inside, you'll see that we currently have it set to Inherit from Theme. This means that Twitter Feed Pro will automatically match the design of your WordPress theme. Next, we have the Light Theme, Dark Theme, and then a Custom Theme where you can select the exact colors you want for your Twitter Feed, just like this. Once you have a color scheme you're happy with, go click on Save on the top right corner. Inside Twitter Feed Pro, you can also modify how the individual tweets are displayed inside the feed. On the left-hand side, under the Customize tab, click on Tweets. Then click on Edit Individual Elements. Inside, you can see all the elements you'll find inside each tweet. You have the author, tweet text, date, and more. If you want to hide any of these elements, all we have to do is unselect it like this, and that will hide those inside the tweets on our feed. And if we want to bring that back, all we have to do is select it again like this. And once again, if you make any changes inside here, go click on save on the top right corner. Lastly, if you want full control over the tweets you display on your feed, go into the settings tab and click on filters. Here, you have several options to filter the content displayed inside your Twitter feed. At the top, you can see two toggles to include replies and retweets. And below that, you can also add keywords to allow or block specific tweets that contain those words from being displayed on your feed. By using these filters, you have complete control of the exact tweets you want to display on your feed. And if you add any filters, make sure to go click save on the top right corner. Now that you know how to create and customize your Twitter feed inside Twitter Feed Pro, let me show you how we can embed it onto our Divi web page. To do this, go and click on embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated shortcode, then click on add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your feed to, and then click on add. This will take you inside your page, and if you've built your page with Divi Builder, you can go and click on Edit with the Divi Builder here. This brings us into our Divi web page, and this is the area here that we're going to be adding our Twitter feed. To embed our Twitter feed, all we have to do is click on the plus icon here, and then search for Code. Then click on the code block we see here, 
and paste the shortcode you copied earlier like this. Next, click on the green check mark to close this window, and you can see immediately we have a live preview of our brand new Twitter feed directly inside our Divi webpage. All the latest posts from hashtag GoPro are displayed beautifully inside this feed in that masonry layout. Let's now publish this page and check out what it looks like on the live website. And here we are back on our live web page, and right down here where it says find us on Twitter, we have our brand new Twitter feed inside our web page. It looks amazing and all the latest tweets from hashtag GoPro are displayed inside this feed. And if any of your website visitors wants to view the media inside these tweets, all they have to do is click on it like this to view that image inside a lightbox view with the tweet content underneath. And if you wanted to load even more tweets inside your feed, you can click on the load more button at the bottom. It will load even more tweets directly inside your feed on your Divi webpage. So you now know how to embed a fast and responsive Twitter feed inside your Divi website. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you experience any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.